Encores from the Bell Telephone Hour. Good evening. I'm Donald Gordon. Our guest in song tonight is Eileen Farrell, one of the most popular and versatile of all our American artists. Eileen appeared with us 24 times in all, and I can't think of anyone who could tackle a greater variety of music with such flair. Opera, show tunes, pop ballads, the blues, she did them all. Let's begin with Depuis Le Jour from Charpentier's Louise. I remember Eileen calling this one of the most beautiful arias ever written. And the very first time she ever sang it in public, it was for us on the Bell Telephone Hour.
Eileen wasn't eager to sing that aria, but fortunately for all of us, I was able to persuade her that it was right for her voice. Although Eileen Farrell was born in Connecticut, up in a little town called Willimantic, her parents were Irish, and she's always had a soft spot in her heart for the tunes of the Emerald Isle. Here's one of them now, as the Bell Telephone Orchestra plays Killarney, written by a Dublin lad, Michael Balf. <laughs> Killarney for Eileen, who once told me that she learned to sing Irish ballads almost before she could walk. Both her mother and father were stage people, by the way, who toured the vaudeville circuits with an Irish-flavored act billed as the Singing O'Farrells. Although she later won fame as a concert and opera star, Eileen Farrell actually got her big chance on radio. She did several guest spots in the early 1940s, and the audience response was so enthusiastic that she soon was signed to her own weekly show. I wonder how many of you recall her theme song. Supreme, 
My Song Fill Your Heart, one of the songs about singing that Eileen Farrell loves so well and sings so beautifully. That one, by the way, was written especially for her by Ernest Charles. Charles, of course, is the composer of many famous songs. And here is the equally charming When I Have Sung My Songs. Sentimental and nice. I think it was one of the keys to Eileen's popularity that she could be completely at home with any song. It all seemed to come naturally to her, and this spontaneous quality is what audiences love. Here's still another of those singing songs she did with us on the telephone hour called simply Sing to Be Sing. It was originally introduced by Louise Homer, which was only fair since her husband, Sidney Homer, wrote it. But Eileen quickly made it into a feral favorite. You go 
Songs About Singing by Eileen Farrell. I'll be back with more encores from the Bell Telephone Hour after this message. Monday's child is bare of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child has to work for its living. But a child that's born on a Sabbath day is fair and wise and good and gay. Every day is somebody's birthday. So if someone you know is celebrating a birthday soon, telephone. Long distance is the next best thing to being there. The Bell System. We've heard lots of lovely songs tonight, and here's one more. This time, one without words. It's Tchaikovsky's played by the Bell Telephone Orchestra. I said earlier that Eileen Farrell is an amazingly versatile artist, and we've heard her so far tonight singing both French opera and American songs. Now I'd like to present a work with which she has been particularly associated through the years in a telephone hour performance that I can only describe as thrilling. This is the overwhelming final scene, the Liebstod or love death from Wagner's Tristan and Isolde.
an unforgettable performance. Eileen Farrell and the Bell Telephone Orchestra with the Liebestod from Wagner's Tristan and Isolde. I'll be back after this word from the telephone company. Footsteps. How many could you save if you had the convenience of extension phones? For only pennies a day, you can have a phone within a reach instead of a walk. Upstairs, downstairs, kitchen, bedroom, family room, anywhere you spend a lot of time. Extension phones help stamp out extra footsteps. And there's a variety of style and color phones to choose from. There's the new Trimline phone that fits in the palm of your hand. Pick it up and the dial comes to you. To hang up and dial again, just push a button on the handset. You don't have to put the phone down. Or you can choose the elegant princess phone with a dial that lights up. There are wall phones and standard desk sets, too, and colors to blend with any room. So call your Bell Telephone business office and see how easy it can be to get an extension phone and stamp out those extra footsteps. Donald Voorhees again. I do hope you enjoyed our musical visit with Eileen Farrell tonight and that you'll join me again at the same time next week when performances by the renowned French violinist Zeno Franciscati highlight our encores from the Bell Telephone Hour. This is the NBC Radio Network. Ooh.